guys it's uh, raining today so that means we ain't gonna be cutting or burning today but i just wanted to give a quick update um we've pretty much cleared um the first section which is gonna be over here cleared that pretty well kind of on the home stretch doesn't seem like a lot because there's a lot of woods in the background but that's pretty much a whole acre cleared right there and just kind of want to show you guys um this is more for chainsaw people you know if you're dealing with let's just say a yard you know you got a metal building got that fence right there got a lot of big mature trees next to things that can fall on fences which is never good <clears throat> so in your mind you're like well i can drop them in the yard but they're angled actually toward that fence well then you're saying well i could rope it up and pull it straight to the uh hill but can't do that either because you have to clear a lot in the way and then also when you start clearing and dropping down there it just becomes a pain in the butt because once again it's leading this way so what i've done is that's one of the fancy ones we're going to keep what i've done is, is create a corridor so right there at the face you can't really see it however let me kind of zoom out a little bit <clears throat> what i did was you go one level in to the tree line and then cut yourself a corridor now what i mean by that you can see where i start to cut and stack but see right here look at this you see now there's an entire chasm going this way all the way you know basically right here and so what i can do is even though it's leaning a little bit there i'm gonna throw the rope and actually pull it coming this way because even if it's leaning this way or this way it's straight going back and forth so i can pull it into here and put it in this corridor now there's only one tree left on this as a butt stop there was four trees kind of bring this together this is like a little homemade giant pile we're going to do for an event cut those two trees off you know there's about 15 trees a cut and then also it's the last thing i'll talk about i always talk about erosion control and a couple of years ago you know i cut down trees and put it here and you see it's almost dirt now and you see i just added to this berm line again to create that little hump it's going to help with erosion going down to the creek which oh my god look at that you can actually see the top of the creek right there which is pretty mind-blowing <clears throat> but we're going to get to it another cool thing even though it doesn't really matter to anyone but me uh, look at this it's a dead it looks like a make sure i get this right there, there it is it's a dead tree but then it comes back to life halfway up that's a bent tree coming out it's coming here and that's a dead tree connecting the two i might just keep that just because it looks kind of cool but yeah this is it for the, the farm stuff i'm trying to think if there's anything else um really uh we did have a kind of a problem tree i guess i should show that which one come over here come on stuff it's raining not too bad right now but to be honest with you i'm so dang sore that i don't mind a little rain today's just gonna be a gym day hanging out we'll go see las bravos we'll go see the braves game so let's see here you can see the firms are coming in really well i mean like i said it's called fern gully farms for a reason um and they're just they're just everywhere yeah look at that kids can't can't avoid those things but you can see from that first video i mean all this stuff is cleared it's open all the way back and berm line uh probably the next couple of projects that we're going to be doing i mean other than cutting and running is uh you know burning that pile that pile that pile that pile again that pile all basically as we go but everything looks pretty good and like i said once that mulch people get here we're gonna really see how it opens up but it doesn't matter the mulch people come and get everything about 10 inches and under we're still gonna come through and cut all the trees down save the really big ones and what i mean by big ones you can see like <sighs> these are some massive trees that we're saving like that one right there look at it's already starting to bow out and look how much cover it's just providing just from that right there it's gonna be great guys cannot wait and then i guess we'll just show that Whoo, look at that little house right there it looks real small from the front by god she's got a donk on her love it all right guys check you guys next time